Good evening and welcome to my end of the week recap here for SPY and trade plan for next week. Uh, Thursday I was able to take one trade after my midweek video. Uh, because of the gap down I was unable to take the swing that I was planning but they left me a little bit of room to take a scalp here. I got these 280 puts here at 64, reduced some at 84, the rest trailed me out at 75. Less them on the table as you can see, uh, price action did drop down, uh, oh, they almost went in the money but you know, it is what it is. Later in the morning, um, my internet actually cut out and I haven't had access to a, you know, any kind of stable connection until just today. So um, trade plan for next week, I'm actually going to be cautiously bearish, uh, purely based on a couple of things. Right now, the moving averages are all above price, which algorithmically is bearish. Should imply there's more selling than buying. We're probably going to continue lower. If we break below this 280 and a half, this little trend line right here, we take out this. Um, this is the downtrend retest. This is the high of late 2018 uh, consolidation area and a recent trend that has now developed. If we drop below here, um, those are three levels that should be support. If we drop below, there's going to be stops below and probably going to have some compounded selling. I will have my target right here at the 200 SMA, at which point I will flip and watch for the 30 minute chart to set up in a base and uh, give me an opportunity to take a swing here off of the 200 SMA. Now, there's a lot of negativity in the news, um, a lot of bears coming out of the woodworks, you know, saying I call this, I call this, it is what it is, blah, blah, blah. I guarantee that 90% of those people saying that aren't even short. Uh, they missed this whole move and they're afraid to put any money to work now. So um, let them sit there and once CNBC becomes bearish and says we're going to test two, uh, 230s and 2300 on the, on futures, that's probably going to mark the bottom. Uh, if you remember from my video last week, I was saying uh, CNBC was calling for a buy the dip area or buy the, buy the dip scenario, excuse me, in this region here. Well, we broke down and have now put in what looks like an H cell setup on the futures, which I'll get to momentarily. Uh, but anyways, if this does break down, this actually puts into play not only the bear flag I was watching, but a larger head and shoulders pattern, which has a measured move down to about 265, uh, which coincidentally is the apex of this bull flag that I had drawn on here for a couple of months now. So if that does occur, maybe I'll get an opportunity to, uh, or secondary opportunity to buy in to some stocks that I've been following and wanting to uh, hold in my long-term account. So We'll see what happens with those levels, but for now I will look for a breakdown and a target here. And at this point, I will look to flip into calls. Now I mentioned E-mini futures, but first pull up the monthly chart here for SPY. Still have this bearish outside month. It's going to be an outside month no matter how we close. Just uh, where the price closes at is going to ultimately deter determine whether or not it's overly bullish, or excuse me, overly bearish, or if it's just another consolidation month. As of right now, it's very bearish in my opinion and uh, pointing down. So on to the weekly time frame. We had an inside week here after a sell-off, which could be looked at as a bullish harami if we do break above 286.93 on SPY. Maybe that takes us back to recent highs and this is a, a viable dip opportunity, but as of right now, it is not looking like it in my opinion. Let me go over here to futures real quick. Uh, same weekly chart, you can see inside bar, technically a bullish Harami. Um, <laughs> still under indecision at the very least. Uh, it's just an inside bar, which means it couldn't take out the high or low of last week. Monthly bar, again, as I said already for SPY, is an outside bar. Uh, it is a bearish engulfing bar for the time being. If we can get back above the low of last month, 28, 44 and a half, maybe we start to do something productive and climb back up to 2,900. But... Uh, with the negativity in the news and the headlines and China may, you know, China may still come out and say something negative this weekend and push us even lower. So for now, um, as I said, I'm going to be bearish and be cautiously bearish on on SPY and look for some uh, scalps to the downside. On to the daily time frame I mentioned is an H cell setup. What that means is almost a vertical move down, dead cap bounce, and we're right back to those recent lows. It did put in an inside bar here uh, for Friday, which can be looked at as a bullish reversal or a bearish continuation above or below whatever uh, breaks first here on Tuesday. It's probably going to lead to another move. If it gaps up uh, above this level, I'm probably going to expect some selling to push it back down below when we put in a bearish engulfing bar, taking out the low and flushing pretty far in one day if that does occur. If there's a gap down, 
Um, there's probably not going to be as much selling in my opinion simply because that ruins the risk to reward just like the uh, the midweek video I had for SPY. <clears throat> On to transports. Uh, transports have been leading the market lower as I keep saying. I'm a, I'm a huge follower of Dow theory and if there's no materials being shipped or fewer materials, materials being shipped that at least implies fewer goods are being sold and bought and uh, the economy is not making as much as we're being told. So uh, looks like futures, not futures, uh, transports are leading the market lower still. One potential level of support is right here around 180. If that fails, probably going to come down to around 175-ish and test these prior lows from last year. Below there will uh, be a far drop. There's not really much there, but some space. They have this big gap to fill down here around 167. Uh, and that kind of move may be what leads us to test recent lows, or at least come close to testing recent lows from late 2018 on SPY. So uh, for now, keeping an eye on transports, I will not be looking to take any new uh, bullish swing positions until the market starts to stabilize and at least looks like it's putting in a base that way I'll be able to control my risk a little bit better so for now cautiously bearish still in uh, scalp mode because there is no real direction on the overall market and we'll see what happens going forward if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them down below you're welcome to come over to the trade crew chat room it is a free chat sign up with me and follow along with these trades I hope everybody's having a great Memorial Day weekend with your families have a good weekend and good luck on Tuesday